Spread! Spread! <laughs> Welcome back! Welcome back to another retrospective. Power Trip Retrospective! Yes, so today we are going to be covering Contra. Contra! Wow! Which you were using the machine gun and I was doing spread because I don't even know what sound spread makes. <laughs> it was more like... <laughs> yeah, I don't know what it is. Yeah, it but was yeah, so we're, Contra. We're, we're covering Contra, which was... Uh, Game 12. It was Game 12. It was released in 1988 on the Nintendo Entertainment System by Konami. And yes, it was, sir. And it was developed by Konami as well, too, because Konami was one of the very few uh, game developers that was big enough to both be um, mm. a developer and a uh, and a publisher as well, too. They were quite massive back they, in the day, man. They were huge. So huge, in fact, that they were actually the first company that Nintendo realized that they had screwed themselves over with their five... <laughs> With their five, uh, the five game limit, the five game limit, so that they wouldn't glut the market up with just complete crap. So they said that each developer can only release five games per year, so it's got to be your best five. And Konami was creating hit after hit after hit, and they realized, oh crap, Konami's making us a lot of money, but, ourselves in the but foot. we can only, we can't give them ten games while all the other developers only get five. So. What they encouraged them to do is then create a subsidiary called Ultrasoft Games. Ultra. Ultra. Thank you, TMNT. Yep, exactly. Thank you, TMNT. Um, what else was Ultra? I, I feel like uh, Roller Games. Oh, Roller Games was as well, too. Yep. Yeah. So, anyways, so they created this this uh, subsidiary that uh, was their way around the uh, the five-game limit, so then they got another five games to... Uh, to produce a year, so sneaky fuckers, sneaky. So everybody was happy, but what a weird um, loophole. Yeah, exactly. So, but the game came out in 1988. Um, it was released in arcades before that, but uh, 1988, February. Konami. A complete and utter classic it, in a lot of people's eyes. It really is. Contra is actually one of the quintessential uh, Nintendo games on the system. It's yes. in. It, it's near the top of almost everybody's list of best Nintendo games on the system. I think it consistently makes into the top five just because it's just that well known and that iconic of a game. Also, ironically, one of the top ten hardest games according to a lot of lists. <laughs> that makes zero sense to me. Makes zero sense to me too. So, so, which is a perfect segue into difficulty. Paul, you have the most experience out of the both of us with this game. Um, See, and I and I'm I'm trying to think about it in terms of not being biased because I know this game inside and out. I've played right. it for years and years. I love it. I can beat it without getting touched. Um, but I would have to go ahead and say, even if I was basically a, a noob coming into it who's never played this game before, I would probably give this game a three for difficulty. Wow. I would I would give three. it three. I would go that low because. Okay. Because, yes, granted, one hit, you're dead. Right. And in some of these cases, there's a lot of stuff coming at you. However, though, you get a wide variety of weapons that help you to deal with all of the monstrosities that will be coming your way. It's true. You can put in a Konami code that will give you 30 lives instead of, <laughs> instead of the three lives that you start off with. And you get unlimited continues. So, That's true. You so, there's literally, so there's literally just perseverance to, to beat through the game and you will eventually beat it. Wow. So that's I give it a three for difficulty. It's a good defense. Nowhere can this game be higher than a five. Like, even if you don't know the game, I still think that it would be below that halfway mark. It would be at four. My initial thinking was to say four. Because while there is unlimited continues, three lives are pretty sparse. If you really think about it, some of these stages are pretty freaking brutal. The uh, energy yeah. zone is not an easy level. It's it's not. However, no level is really that terribly long. That is very true. And it's really not all that difficult. No. Like, even if this was a game you and I had picked up for the first time, it like really comes Shadow down. of the Ninja, Man. the learning curve is... I think Ninja Crusaders was harder than this. It really was, actually. A yeah. I mean, well, that one was worse than the fact that when you got killed, you went all the way back to the beginning of the level. Single player. Yes. Two player, it was a different story, but watch the review on that. Yes. <laughs> Contra, you picked up where you left off. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I'm actually going to dip down with you and say three. Yeah, this game I, is not it's hard not, as it's far not as hard. shooters go. It's not hard. And as far as people... Or running guns, I'm yeah. sorry. And as far as people uh, 
seem to think that this game is just it's difficult and the difficulty is brutal. Balls um, hard. Yeah, um, it's it's really not. I don't know where people decided to start saying that Contra was like the super hard game. I think it's just the uh, people knowing that. I guess even with the 30 lives code, people still can't seem to beat the game. <laughs> Although, I don't know how long they've played it before, because people seem to think that you have no continues on this game, which is complete and utter, like, that's, that's, that's false. That's false, <laughs> completely. You have unlimited continues. Um, I wonder if that, that idea of toughness comes from complacency. I mean, think about it. If you have 30 lives, right, you put in the Konami code as mm -hmm. a kid, you're going to play fast and loose. Oh, yeah. You're not really putting in the dedication to learn the game like nope. you would if you only had the three lives. Yeah, Which then you would auto, you'd see this. Oh, this game's really not that all not all that hard. Mm -hmm. You know, but since you have thirty lives, you can be like, ah, fuck, I missed the jump. Ah, who gives a shit? Like, yeah. oh my god, now I can't imagine doing this with three lives. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you probably could. Yeah. So it's I think that's maybe where the these this faux difficulty comes from. And, and it could be, could very well be. But it's not. Know. But it's not a difficult game. No, the bosses are simple. I mean, it's it's a run and gun. Mm -hmm. uh, Russian attack is harder than this. Um, I mean, it's there are so many games harder than this yeah. in this genre that it doesn't make any sense. Very much. Why so. it would rank as high, and that's that's why I said this because you and I have watched a lot of top ten lists that people do, mm -hmm. and, and for some reason this game's always on. It's there. well, this game has come into like quite notably like multiple notable top 10 lists yeah. and it just completely threw me by surprise like why this game was even in there yeah it gained um, this strange notoriety of of being being difficult insanely difficult which yeah. i would never have put this in the same category as games like battle toads oh god or or even castle quest for that matter i mean i, I never oh, would have put it in the same ballpark of, of those that's two. upper echelon difficult yeah. <laughs> yeah. but uh so, yeah all right anyways, so what do you what was your uh your rating for fun what would you say? I don't really care for this game. I know I have to be... <laughs> I know you get all super pissed off when I say it, but I don't really like it. I mean... What is it that you don't like about it? I don't know. It's just something about the game rubs me the wrong way. Whether it's the graphics... I'll, I'll give it... I'll give it points. Mm -hmm. Later Contras, I don't... I, I dislike more. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that okay. makes sense. So as far as Contra games go, I like this the best. Okay. I just, still it would not saying a lot. It wouldn't be a go-to for me. Yeah, I, okay. I I don't really. I've learned to appreciate it over the years through you, mm -hmm. like watching you play it, and then when we played it, like I've gained a new respect for it. But yeah. as far as fun goes, if I'm going to be perfectly fair, I would say it's about a six. It is fun. I think two player, you get obviously more bang for your buck because it's you're it's combating each play. other. You it's know, fun it's, to play. it's fun to play together and and do some teamwork. But it, I'd say it's it's considerably fun for what it is. Even and, though I personally don't like it, I know a lot of people do. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And this one, I would have to go ahead and say that like this one would be, for me, I, I would rate, I would not rate it any lower than an 8, actually. Holy shit! I would not do any lower eight. than an 8. You're out of your fucking mind. Why do you say that? <laughs> this game's so short. No, it's, it is short, which is why it doesn't get like a... a I may lean towards a nine, but it's I. It, it's not a ten. It's not a ten. <sighs> Blowing Whatever. my fucking mind right Whatever. now. <laughs> yes, yes, the game is short. However, though, it is super, super fun. You have eight different levels, which that's a pretty good. It's a pretty good level yeah, ratio. We'll give it to Granted, you. they're short, but each one is so unique in its own. Right. That's true. You start off in the forest, then you go into like a different kind of like perspective where you're in like the the bases and stuff like that. Then you've got the waterfall where instead of going left to right, you're going straight up, which That's is really style. cool. Yeah, which was really cool at that point. Um, level five is a snowfield. Level six is energy zone, which you pointed out. Like, I mean, it's it's really distinct. It's really unique. Even the alien layer. I mean, you've got such cool looking enemies and stuff like that. You've got the little like well, well, alien like face aliens. hungers yeah. or well yeah and the the face hunger spiders um so i mean you've got a really good variety with this game you've got a uh the music is just absolutely phenomenal the music it's, is really music good. is just classic konami, konami always kills just it. yeah they just they 
absolutely destroyed. Come on, in title, yeah. man. They really when it came, music. Yeah, when it came to music, I mean, it's just, it is, it, it's so just, it just picks you up and just doesn't, doesn't let you go. Throws you into um, the energy zone. It does throw you into the energy zone. <laughs> it's really fun with the different items and the different weapons that you can get to where you literally, if you play through, which is something that I need to actually do, is you, you play through with spread. Flamethrower. Everybody does it. Well, guess what? Then play through the game again. Don't use spread at all. Only flamethrower. Only flamethrower. Or do only laser. Or just do your straight rifle. Whatever it is. I mean, there's that there's, would... there's variety that okay. can make the game a little bit more challenging in that in that regard. Um, and so you can play it over and over again and still just kind of, I don't know, fall in love with it each each time you play it. I, I still can pick this game up and just have a great time and and I we'll know play it can. just as. Just like if I have 15, 20 minutes to blow, I will I'll literally just pick up and play this game. That's yes, true. I you, love it. You, I think I, you've played this countless times in mm -hmm. our, our relationship together as friends. I mean, you, this was one of the games you speed it's, bought or yeah. speed beat or whatever the fuck you want to call it. Even though speed it, bought. Well, <laughs> okay. You know how it is. Yes. Um, but yeah, mm -hmm. I... You can stay. I always you can stay with your six. That's fine because you I'm, do bring up some good points, and, and I keep forgetting that our fun ratings factor in graphics and controls and and all this. It's not just just flat out fun. Graphics are really good too. The graphics are great. Graphics are great. Music's great. The it controls decently well for for running gun. It controls well. Mm -hmm. um, Very tight controls. Yeah. So you know what? I'll I'll give you a seven. So I'll give it a seven. So move up to I'll a move seven. up to a seven. I'm staying at an eight. I'm not. Even, I'm not going down any. Even I could probably pick this up and play it and be like, "That ah, was fun." Yeah. Because like, Super C gives me that same feeling, which is weird because Super C is its you know the lesser known cousin or lesser liked. I don't know I what was, you want to call it. I was going to say which is yeah. <laughs> I I don't like Super C as much as I like Contra. No, but I mean I get the same yeah. feeling from Super C as I do Contra, and I really like Super C. So mm -hmm. I don't know. So. I I guess seven feels fair. All right. Nice so, job, dude. All right. What the hell? Well, is it worth it? So this game, according to price charting right now, is twenty-seven dollars and five cents. Damn! Now, does the five cents make a difference? <laughs> no. Is is it worth it? I, as far as classics go, I would say yes. I yeah. I would say yes. I mean, like you stated, it's you get a great game for twenty twenty seven 27 odd bucks. You go, I'm sure you can find it for bucks. 25. Yeah. 25, yeah. yeah. Um, what did you pay for it, by the way? Honestly, I didn't pay anything for it. Because grew up with it. Was, it. Yep, I grew up oh. with it. I grew up with Contra. It was actually one of the ones that, that we had growing up as a kid, so I didn't have to buy it. Um, Wonderful. Nothing remember, beats free. I remember seeing it um, back in the day, like 10 years ago and so. I mean, it was like a 8 to $10 game, and started creeping its way up to 15 and at one point, I mean, this game was going for like $45, <laughs> close to $50, which is just absolutely ridiculous. That's when I, I start to question whether or not it's worth it. But <laughs> Was uh, that during our time of actually collecting the collection? Yes. It was about 47 That's No, 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 it was after we were already done. It was after that, we were that, done? That it really went up. I will say, I remember when we were collecting still, I remember seeing this game in the 30s. Yeah. Because Final Fantasy was... Up there in price as well mm -hmm. at the same time. Mm -hmm. I think Final Fantasy has since come down as well yes, as like Super Mario Three and yep. yeah. So it's for that one. Yeah, it seems like a trend that's starting is mm -hmm. where a lot of games are actually dropping. They're starting price. to kind of level out now. Yeah, yep. I wonder why that so. is. But uh, but yeah, for another I day. Think, yeah, <laughs> I think it's. I honestly, I think it's worth it though. If you find this game for anywhere between twenty five dollars. Um, and maybe 30, you're starting to get a little bit up there. But um, as far as running guns go, I mean, it's classic Konami. It's, it's great graphics. It's really fun. Kick-ass soundtrack. You Definitely. really cannot go wrong with this game. I'll agree. All right. You nailed it. So another retrospective in the... In the bank. In the bank. So, as we say. So hit us up on Facebook. Hit us up on Twitter. Uh, check out PowerDripGaming.tv. It'll take you right to our channel where you can actually check out um, our playthrough of... Contra. Uh, two times. Two times. Inside joke from the Contra play. Oh, jeez. Where I got you laser not once, but twice. But twice. <laughs> so if you hear me yell, yeah, <laughs> two time! That was because he had spread, 
and I shot the weapon thing to give him laser. Yeah. To make him the happiest no, man on the planet. And I and I <laughs> and I was less than thrilled. So but anyways, the link is in the description. Um so check it out and uh let us know what you think about Contra. Let us know if you think that this game is a really difficult game that we're just being too uh too easy on. Maybe our experience as kids, well, you as a kid, just maybe. clouded it. Maybe. And me watching you play it all the time, maybe I got good at it. But it's not hard. It's not difficult to <laughs> not us. hard. So. All right. So there next time on Power Trip Retrospective, we will review something better. I can't believe you just said that. I've come full circle, man. You 360. Me, you make me proud. Actually, it'd be 180. That, that would be... Oh, amazing. give me a 180! Oh, give it another 180! Just did 360! Oh, yeah! Seems like something Macho Man would say. <laughs> yes, because the man also thought that nothing meant nothing. Nothing means nothing. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah! Zero degrees means nothing. It's nothing. That means nothing to the Macho Man! Oh, yeah! <laughs> oh, yeah! That was amazing. Book a team, 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 book a team,